with measles outbreaks still spreading across the country and here in California, there are some important warning signs to look for. Here to talk about those and some precautionary measures that we can take, welcome Dr. Melanie Palm from The Art of Skin. Good morning. Good morning, Brooke. Thanks for having me yeah, here. Yeah, thanks for being here. I know we've talked a lot about this subject over the last couple of weeks, but you're going to specifically tell us what some of the warning signs that we can look for when we're just out in the public. Yeah, because dermatologists actually see this condition if we catch it at the right time. I think um, when we learn in med school, we learn about the three C's with measles. It's called cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. There's a fancy terms for cough, a runny nose, and irritated eyes. So those are part of the prodrome, sort of before people get the rash, and then a high fever, usually to about 104 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, are the first signs. Um, after that, usually two to three days later, we get something called coplex spots, which if you look inside the mouth, and it's usually in sort of your lower molar area, there are these tiny white gray spots, and oftentimes mm -hmm. people don't see them. You know, we're not looking in our mouth often. Mm -hmm. They go away about two to three days after symptoms start, um, but then you start to get the rash, usually about five days afterwards. And this is really a telltale rash. Describe it. It is. I, I tell patients it's almost like throwing a, a can of paint over your head. It starts at the top of our head along the hairline and behind the ears, and it really works what we call cephalocaudal, which is just a fancy term, from the top of our head down to the bottom of our feet. And it starts as little red pinpoint bumps, and they often coalesce to form just confluent or sort of areas of redness in that. Um, they're slightly raised, they can be itchy, they don't have to be, um, and it lasts for several days. Now, an important thing, if you were to see this in yourself or in a family member, you don't want to necessarily go running into an ER because now you've contaminated everybody there. What do you do? I would call your doctor. Um, you know, you are you are contagious four days before the rash starts and it continues four days afterwards. And this really is a contagious disease. So if you aren't immunized um, and somebody in the room has active measles, about 90% of people that are unimmunized are gonna get that. It's spread through coughing and sneezing and it even exists on surfaces for a couple of hours after the person is gone. Okay, so immunization is definitely key despite the fact that people are debating that recently that you're, you're saying that's very, very important. It is, and there's more clinical research that's going to come out in the near future that really disputes that. I mean, the, the controversial link between autism and vaccination in this case is really unfounded, and you really want to protect your children and unimmunized adults and, and get the vaccine, um, because there are sequelae afterwards, which we can talk about as well. Okay, great. Well, there is more to talk about on this, so after the show, we are going to talk some more. And we'll have more coming up tonight on the 10 p.m. live broadcast as Absolutely. well. Thank you for sharing this with Thanks. us.